Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna upload this, but I wasn't able to upload the video where I'm gonna talk about the supplements I use. This is body odor vlog, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess, um, I don't know. What do I wanna talk about? What should I talk about? I think I'm gonna try to respond to certain questions that I received from my last vlog, if I can recall some. I gotta wait for this car to go, and then I go. I don't even know how long this is gonna take. Mm, damn, there's a lot of cars up front. Oh well. This route avoids a slowdown on Florida 826 South near Hialeah. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 6.32 p.m. Damn, 6.32, that sucks. I am trying to continue. Man, I hate living in the. I hate living in large cities. What are you? What are you? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, bro. I hate fucking living in long, large cities, bro. I hate living in Miami. <laughs> I really hate living in Miami. I just hate just being around so many people. It's just so annoying. Even if I didn't have this issue, I just hate being around just so many cars and just so much traffic. It takes me an hour to go home. It's just so annoying. I really hate this shit. I really want to live in a small town. If I didn't live in it, if I lived in a small town for most of my life, I could see why I would I would want to move in a big city like New York or Miami or what's another big city? I guess LA is pretty big. But it's like, since I lived in Miami most of my life, I think the population total in Miami is like 2 million people. Why are there got to be so many fucking people in Miami? God damn, let me leave. Bruh, so annoying. When, when the COVID happened, it was like one of the best things that ever happened, honestly, for me. Because it's like, bro, the, the traffic was non-existent. I saved like maybe 10 minutes of my life just going from one one place to another. It wasn't that bad. Now, co I mean, we're still in pandemic season or pandemic era, or whatever. We're still in the pandemic and you know, now there's a vaccine and stuff and some people are taking the vaccines and whatnot. But still, why do there have to be so many goddamn cars out here? I don't know, man. I think I want to go to live in a small town. This is why I technically want to leave my job. I want to technically leave my job and have like a remote job and then just go wherever the fuck I want to go. So I don't have to drive to work every day. Since it's remote, I can be on my laptop or something and just move to another, move to one city and then maybe next month move into another city and just do that all day. I remember actually seeing I remember actually seeing this video on YouTube of people living out their cars. Li yeah, living out their cars. So they, well, who's that? 580-213-8187. I don't know who that is, so I am going to ignore it. Anyways, um, I see some videos on YouTube of people living out their cars. So they sleep there. They dress there. They even like piss and poop in there. Like they poop in buckets <laughs> and then they like sleep next to a Walmart or something to take a bath. I mean, I don't know. I don't really, I don't like that part about it, but I do like the idea of being completely just independent and just drive where the fuck you want to go. You know what I mean? And not really being hindered by, oh, I got to wake up and go to this place and then go to that place. And it's, it's really annoying. Um... But damn, there's so many cars. I'm so annoyed. Another thing about big cities, there's a lot of homeless people in big cities. I've been noticing that there have been more homeless people, at least within my neighborhood, that happened in the last five years. Like, sometimes I drive down, okay, good. Sometimes I drive, I mean, ride my bike or something like that. And when I ride my bike, I've been noticing that there's just been way more people sleeping next to bus shuttles and stuff like that. And I'm like, 
damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to respond to certain questions that people ask me that I can recall. I don't recall that many. I just recall, I just recall like two questions. One of them was like, uh, one of them asked me if I'm still drinking kefir and technically I'm not drinking kefir anymore. Technically I'm not drinking kefir at all. Um, uh, I, I think I started, I think I continued to drink kefir for a long period of time. I think I've been drinking kefir for, for okay, so when was the first time I started? I started like late 2019. Late 2019, I started drinking kefir. And then I switched over to like homemade kefir. And then I stopped drinking homemade kefir. And then I started drinking like Lifeway kefir again. And I think I've been drinking Lifeway Kefir for a majority of 2020 and within the beginning of, yeah, within the beginning of months or throughout most of January, I've been drinking Kefir. The problem is, well, it's not really a problem. It's not really a problem with drinking Kefir. It's just, I just wanted to remove it from my, I usually put Kefir within my veggie smoothies. So I only put like one cup, um, and I use like the Lifeway Low Fat, Lifeway Low Fat. So apparently Lifeway Low Fat only had like, oh, I can't even remember. I can't even recall the amount of live bacteria it says it has. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I just stopped drinking kefir is only because I already have like probiotic supplements I'm taking. I'm taking like the Busy Biome that has like 150 billion. 150 billion capsules, so that's fine. So yeah, I just stopped drinking kefir, but um, if people want to drink kefir, that's cool. I, the thing is, I've been drinking kefir for a year plus, and I don't know. I never know if I smell bad or not because of it. You know, it's always it's so weird because sometimes you think to yourself, you like eat food and you think to yourself, is this making me smell bad? Because this sort of smells weird. So once it gets into my digestive system, is it going to smell even more awful? You know what I mean? Like I started to think that way. I think that way about a lot of things. Um, about kefir, about any type of food. Like, oh, okay. This, I don't know. These green beans make me, I don't know. These green beans sort of smell funny a little bit. So is this going to smell even worse? my digestive system is that gonna make me smell even worse it's like stuff like that I, I worry about and even now oh which, which reminds me of the second question um, the second question is well oh yeah there was a, another question is like do you smell bad or um, do you still smell bad do you still get reactions or whatever again I can't I can't pick up I can't pick up um, my smell or whatever um, so I don't know if I smell bad and I so I throughout most of my time I'm in the office or I'm walking around people I get like uh, I get paranoid I don't know but at the same time maybe I'm not paranoid there will be situations where I feel like I do smell and there will be situations where I feel like I don't and I base it off of how people are close to me I base it off of people's body language if people's body language is not if I look at someone's body language or they get really close to me and they don't like try to rear back or anything I feel like okay I, I guess I don't smell terrible if people get close to me and they don't rear back or people walk behind me or something and I don't see them hold their nose or do some weird shit uh, in back of me then I naturally don't think I smell but at the same time, like there'll be situations to where it feels like I do smell. For example, just just actually like right when I left, right when I left, um, I was waiting on I was waiting for the elevator to come up so I can go down because I'm I'm my job is like on the fourth floor, so I'm waiting on the elevator, right? And then like a couple of seconds later, a woman uh, comes near the elevator too, and she's waiting on the elevator. So one of the elevators opens up, right? The I-95 south ramp. 
one of the elevators opens up and naturally I think like the other person is going to get into the elevator as well because that's the only elevator that opened. However, uh, when I got into the elevator and I tried to make some, sp can I go? I don't know if I can go. Look at all this fucking traffic. Just annoying as shit. Ugh. I don't think I can go, bro. Uh, maybe I can go? Look at this fucking traffic. It's so annoying. Wait till you see the... <laughs> Wait till you see I-95. Oh my god. But what was I saying? Oh wait, I gotta concentrate because I gotta merge. I gotta merge. And I have to get out my thoughts really quickly because I know this has a small battery life. Okay, I'm merging. Gotta merge some more. Gotta get out of this one. Go into the lane. Merge, merge. Okay, great. Let me try to hit the third one. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess I'll stay in this lane. Fine. Oh man, look at this crap. Oh, so what I was saying was, right when I was just leaving today, uh, and I was waiting on the elevator, and I was, I made some room for her to get, actually get in the elevator. I went to all the way to the end of the elevator. I guess, yeah, to the edge of the elevator, so she can go to the other side of the elevator. Uh, she didn't go into the elevator at all. She didn't go into the elevator at all. Now, at the same time, it could mean a couple of things. It could mean the fact that uh, maybe, I don't know. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Well, let me get out of here then. Shit. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it could mean a couple of things. It could mean that she was distracted and she didn't go in the elevator and that's the reason why she didn't go in the elevator with me. Or it could mean that I smell bad and she didn't want to go into the elevator with someone who smells bad. Like little situations like that makes me question like, hmm, what the fuck was that about? You know what I mean? And I can't, I can't say for a fact, oh, it was because I smelled bad. Uh, like another instance that happened today was the fact that, you know, I just got up to go to the bathroom. Um, and when I got to go to the bathroom, I saw, like, I saw, I saw my, like, I guess a coworker cover her nose while I passed by her. So I'm like, oh, I wonder what the fuck does that mean? Does that mean I smell? Does that, what does that mean? But as I walk, when I come back from the bathroom and walk back in, I don't see her covering her nose or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at the same time, I'm, I'm like right next to her. So I would think I would see more instances of her cover her nose or some shit like that. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe I'm being paranoid. Or maybe my odor is intermittent. Maybe uh, more people smell it. Or people smell it, uh, can smell it better than others. So they react differently. I don't know. I don't know. That's why it's like really annoying because at the same time, I can't really trust people <laughs> and shit. So I don't know. I feel like I know for a fact that my odor has decreased, but I don't know how much. By how much, I can't give you a number. And even if I can smell myself, I can't really give you a number. I'm just using, just making up a number that might satisfy what I think reduction size would be uh so yeah i know that was the question like so are you are you cured or are you, do you get any reactions i i don't know if it's paranoia or it's or it's me legitimately seeing reactions i feel like it's, it's a mixture of both a mixture of both it's like paranoia but at the same time, maybe I still smell, but I don't think it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I smell, because there's like, there's, this is the thing I've been doing for the last couple of months. When I previously smelled like, I had visible or more apparent reactions from people. 
when I had more apparent reactions from people, even if I took a bath and I, ex I exercised and then took a bath, I would still see people react to me, or I would overhear people, or I see people sniffle or rub their nose or some crap like that. But nowadays, when I'm like around people, I don't see that type of shit. However, there'll be like certain instances every now and then, not like not consistently, where I'm like, what the fuck, what was that about? So it makes me think maybe it's intermittent, maybe I still smell, maybe I'm being paranoid. But I want to just talk about the times where I knew it was bad. <laughs> And when I would even try to exercise and sweat out the odor and then take a bath afterwards and go out in a public place, you know, like usually I just go to the grocery store. I'm not really a public person. I don't really go out and about and stuff like that. I usually, whenever I had to go out, it's usually just for groceries. Um, despite doing all those types of measures and stuff, I would still see people visibly react to me. But for the last couple of months, Definitely with the last couple of months, you know, on a Saturday, I would just take a bath as opposed to exercising and then taking a bath. I just take a bath and then I go outside and see if I get any reactions. And I use nine times out of ten, I go to a grocery store. And when I go to the grocery store, I don't necessarily see anything. I don't necessarily see anybody doing anything. But at the same time, you can always smell bad and people are not going to make comments or people are not going to hold their nose because it's sort of, it's considered rude to do. Like if a person had like really bad breath and they're talking and breathing on your ass, you're not going to cover your nose. You're going to try to prevent yourself from covering your nose or covering your face um, because it's like rude or, you know, that's, you shouldn't be doing that. That's that's against the rules of society <laughs> I don't know if it's against the rules of society but it's like yeah it's considered rude right so yeah I have no idea what you said but okay um let me see if I can get in here and get the fuck out of here yep I can get in here if I can get in the third lane this will be the shit and surprise. Great, fantastic. <sighs> so what was I saying? Rerouting, what are you rerouting to? Um, okay, so yeah, what I was saying essentially was, I can tell that there's a difference in odor. I, mean, I, I can tell there's a difference in how people react to me because I barely see it. But then there's those every, so often instances where I think to myself, why did that person do that? Or I wonder if I smell bad because of this, what this person did. With the elevator thing, I still can't really, I can't even rationalize the elevator situation because, okay, if we're both, we're at the top floor because it's not like, okay, it's, you know, with some elevators, like, there's multiple levels. There's only like four levels. We're at the top floor. Maybe there's, I mean, obviously there's a rooftop, but I don't think the, I don't think her ass was going to the rooftop, All right? <laughs> I know she had like bags of trash in her hand, but I'm like, I don't think there's rooftop garbage cans. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that makes me question like, what, what was that about, right? Um, and and the funny thing about it is, it'd be very surprising. Worst case scenario, I do find out that, and she was wearing a mask too, so if I smell so bad that even wearing a mask is is, is penetrating your mask, my funk is penetrating your mask or some shit like that, like that means I smell really, really bad. And if I smell really, really bad, I think I would see more visual cues for the people I work with that would, you know, show that, oh man, this guy smells bad. But I don't know. Maybe some people could pick it up better than others. Or I'm just being paranoid. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else did I want to, yeah, there was another thing someone else asked me within my previous vlog I made. They 
asked me, okay, within the diet, is it going to, is the team out going to go away? Like, this is my thing. Of course, like eating a diet, you can eating it like a, just a vegan diet, you're going to see a reduction. But like I was just talking about earlier, I don't know if you're going to. I don't know if you legitimately have team out. I don't think you'll ever be cured. If you legitimately have team out type one or type two, I don't know if you'll ever be cured. I don't know. I'm not an expert. And I don't know if I have, I, I mean, I took a test some time ago. I took a test some time ago, but, and it came out negative. So, there's that. Let me see if I can go this way. Great. Oh, this guy's going slow as shit, too. Man. Man, oh man, I really hate Miami. Every time I have to drive an hour back, I think to myself, man, if I just had a remote job, this shit would be the greatest. I was thinking about, that's another thing, if I could talk about, I guess, my life other than body odor, I was really trying to like get rent an apartment or just rent someplace because there's like apartments that's close to my job there's some condos and then there's some houses and like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago I was talking to this woman this realtor about renting the apartment I mean renting a house and the house was like a thousand dollars a month right so I'm like oh only a thousand dollars a month that's great so, I was thinking about just going, you know, I was asking questions about it because I don't really know anything I need to know about renting. So, I was like, okay, so, um, so, so what do I do? And she was like, okay, so, if you, if you're interested in this, this house, you have to pay a thousand dollars for the previous month, the current month, and the next month. And I'm like, what? I gotta pay a thousand dollars for the previous month. You mean a month I haven't even visited or I haven't even lived in? I'm like, okay, yeah, uh, I gotta call you back, okay? And I just stopped calling for that type of that type of position, not a position, a house. So, yeah, I've been trying to find a job. I'm not a job, job. I've been trying to find a place, but it's just like harder because. I was, I even, just recently this week, uh, I was looking for apartments and stuff like that, and they were saying, like, or one of the, the places that uh, sell apartments, or was it a condo? It doesn't matter. I think condos and apartments are pretty much the same thing, but, you know, I'm completely ignorant about the differences between condos and apartments. I think they're the same thing. I read up on the internet, they're the same thing, but the way it's being, the way it's set up, or I think, like, condos are owned by a landlord, and apartments are owned by corporations or something? I don't I don't remember. Um, I was gonna make a video. I was gonna make a specific video asking for help <laughs> from random people for people who at least watch this stuff about I don't know what I should be looking for in terms of an apartment or, or a condo because I don't know anything about renting at all, man. So but I didn't make that. I don't want to make it too long. It's probably like over, probably over like 20 minutes by now. Maybe close to 20 something minutes. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to answer the guy. I think, I don't know if I really answered the guy who asked if you, if you do the diet, will, will your team out go away? I think it'll be lessened and reduced. That's what I know for a fact, but I don't, I don't think it'll be, it'll be ever be cured. And even with my condition, like, I don't know. I think I'm always, Use the right I don't know. The I feel like, I feel like a big part of this, a big part of me is just me being paranoid. And just looking at any little instance that makes me feel that I smell bad. I remember I actually got some insurance. I actually got some of I, I signed up for the Affordable Care Act or whatever the fuck. You know, you know that, that type of insurance you gotta 
the the insurance that you got to sign up before December 15th or something like that. I signed up for that crap, man. I have to pay like $329 a month. And I don't even get like dental or some shit. That's crazy. I remember when I didn't have this job and I didn't have make, you know, a living salary. I only had to pay like 100 somewhere like $109 a month. And even then, I was only getting paid like $9 an hour, and that's still a lot of that was a lot of money. That's a lot of money to pay like $109 a month, and I'm not using it almost every week. I'm using it every so often. I might go to the doctor maybe a couple of times within a year. And I had to I had to spend $109 when I was making like $9 an hour, bro. Right? Now I'm making way more. I make I make it pretty much like $25 an hour, pretty much. And I just spend $329 for health insurance and I don't even get like vision or anything like I get like eye checkups or something. That's it. For $329 and people are saying like, "Oh, well this was way better than it was before." Wait, it was worse? It was literally worse? I don't know. Why am, why am I saying that? Oh, the main reason why I was talking about health insurance was because... I think I need therapy, man. I think I'm going to use this health insurance to get therapy. Because <laughs> I just feel... I feel like I'm mentally fucked. <laughs> I'm mentally damaged. I'm damaged goods. Um, <laughs> and I don't think I can really... I, I guess I can function in everyday life, but I'm I'm so obsessed by reactions. I'm so obsessed by, I wonder what that was. I wonder why this person did this. Look at this. By the way, look at this. This is what I have to do with, deal with every day. And it's a Friday. Sun's going down. Just, it's just, just annoying horse shit. In any case, man, uh, I don't know how long this was. I wonder if I can see. It's 27 minutes. Okay. Well, let me try to merge. Can be married in this thing. Cool. 27 minutes. I wish they told me the battery life. Uh, but look at that crap. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't really see it on the... You can't see how bad this traffic is, bro. <sighs> I want to live in a farm or some shit, bro. Real talk. I want to live in a farm with a population of like a thousand people. <laughs> a thousand people. I can't stand this. This annoys me. Maybe I should do a vlog when I have to go to work. Because when I have to go to work now, it takes even longer. Because the stupid mother, the stupid, <laughs> stupid construction workers or whoever signed off on this stuff made the decision to like basically close down another lane and make it merge into another lane. So now it takes even longer to get, it takes even longer to actually go to work and it's oh my god oh my god and I don't feel like leaving early because fuck that <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna end it right here now I'm just bitching oh well, I'm always bitching oh well I'm gonna end it right here.